Hey, 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 what's up, girls? Your boy T. Shump, everybody, favorite baby daddy, the voice of the street. And today we in <laughs> Chicago, y'all. Southside, Brotherville, Inglewood, whatever you want to call it, right? So look, y'all. When I tell y'all the police used to raid my fucking house a lot, I really mean that, y'all. You hear me? A lot. I'm talking about they used to raid this motherfucker a lot, y'all. To the point where uh every other day they was in this motherfucker. When I say three times a week, I, I mean that shit. I never be lying about shit like that. Three times a week. To the point where um I would give them guns sometime to get out of jams. They started that one time, like in the nineties shit was going on. We had so many motherfucking weapons that Every time a nigga get caught, they'll be like, man, give us a gun, we'll let him go. Give us a gun, they let him go. I started it. They, I give a motherfucking gun, they let him go. They always kept their word. I never got jammed up like that, y'all. I would suggest y'all do it. If you, that really is a backseat deal. If you go to the station, it's over with. But if you can make that deal with the police before you get to the station, make sure he bring it up. If he said, man, you give me a gun, I'll let you go. You can only win or lose. And depend on what they caught you with, whether it's worth it or not. You know. So they used to always come up, hey, hey, we found this. Woo, woo, give us this. A gun, we'll let him go. Cool. You know. My, me and my wife got caught one day, y'all. Up here at McDonald, got the dope line banging hard, right? Police have been watching us, y'all. They get up on us. I'm up there eating a Big Mac. I got the cop parked in front of a pole, right? It's a unmarked police car. And this is why I said I've been investigated by all units. This was the organized crime unit, y'all. They didn't have not none regular police car. All the cars they drove were civilian vehicles, tinted up. That's how they got down. So, they got on me. I didn't even know they was the fucking police. But I do know the day they got me, my dad's car had broke down. I had let him use my car. And he was gone all day. I'm really tipping out the yard and wherever I'm moving around, walking to the store, shit like that. He gets off at 5 o'clock. But, while I was serving... Somebody told me it was a police car on the corner down there, an uh, unmarked uh, car, not one of the civilians. This was one of them old raggedy ass Crown Victorias. It wasn't technically a police car, but it was one of them. But it was a civilian plow because we looked, checked the plates. But they was in that motherfucker, right? So my dad come home, bam, now they can see what I meant, right? And like I say, y'all, cars always tell on you, right? Because a lot of shit you used to get away with, if you moving around, once you get that car involved, they can follow the car. So, my dad comes home, they see the car, they like, this for sure him. I goes up here to McDonald, make a free plays up there. I'm going to sit here for a minute, eat my Big Mac, and got them to chill out. I got them to park by a pole. It's a pole in front of me, right? On the other side of the pole, it's some cars facing me. It's like a, uh, let's say an SUV something. A motherfucker in there look like an old Ford Explorer. Then it's another car over there. I guess they was in there too. So I'm sitting there eating my Big Mac. Think somebody just came to the window. I bust a move, bam. So we finna eat real quick. I'm taking the back. I can look in the mirror. I'm like, damn, that's the people. They pull up in the back and jumped out, y'all. They pull up in the back and jumped out. I'm like, God damn it, babe, put this up. She putting it up, y'all. She putting it up. And the motherfucker police came and he got a chance to open my fucking door. You know, open my door and he could see her study fidgeting with it. Right? And he like, uh, step out for a minute. I'm like, what's up? And he put me on the car, searched me and shit. Then they called for uh, another woman. And then the guy who had my wife. The guy who had me signaling to him like, man, she stuffed it. She stuffed it. They sink that, right? So, you know, we was kind of burned. My girl was so faithful, man, and uh, I always kept it 100. Man, she was hurt that she didn't get the shit tucked in time. She felt bad, y'all, like, damn, baby. She in the back seat, y'all, and I don't forget this. She in the back seat. She like, I'm sorry, Maurice. 
I'm sorry. But if y'all could have seen this shit, man, how she looked to y'all. Listen, man. They had one of her pants legs rolled up. Listen, y'all. One of her pants legs was rolled up. <laughs> her pants was like this. <laughs> Straight this shit out of it. Listen, y'all. I said, they just searched the shit out, my baby. <laughs> yeah. She all crooked, y'all. I swear to God. I laughed so hard. Oh, she like, I'm sorry, babe. I'm like, don't worry. That's not your fault. Don't worry. They, they got us, babe. Don't, don't trip, you know. I'm like, damn, you know. So, uh, they running, the, looking at my phones and shit. They like, damn, boy. Your line jumping like a motherfucker. Jumping like a motherfucker. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm saying to myself, it is what it is. You see what it is, right? So the motherfucker, like, man, start talking. Yeah, I don't knock people from getting money, man. You know, you just getting money. I don't, I don't get mad at people like that. He's trying to sell me the pitch, y'all. This is how they make snitches. <laughs> man, uh, you got anything you can tell me? I'm like, no, nah, bro. I ain't got nothing I can tell you. Man, I mean, what about, is that your line or you working for somebody? We'd rather go get him than you. You got one jab, we'd go rather get ten out of that. I'm like, nah, man, I can't tell you nothing. You know, he's studying right there. I'm like, no, I can't do nothing but fuck somebody else day up. You know what I mean? I can't guarantee you shit. And this is what I'm thinking to myself. I can't guarantee you the next man going to have more than what the fuck I got. So, I ain't even playing that game with you. I, I can't tell you nothing. You feel me? He kept talking, kept talking. Then he like, yeah, well, man, um, we can do what we call a catch and release, man. And then we can let you go. But you go, oh, no, one. that's a trap. Because you don't want to owe them shit. No. I ain't doing nothing with you. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather go to jail before I start talking to you. You feel me? Then he come at the pitch. Hey, man, well, you give us a gun and we can uh sweep this under the rug. I'm like, yeah. He like, yeah. Give us a gun. We'll let you go. All right. I make a couple of phone calls, right? Two of my guys was way out west somewhere. The other one was, you know, somewhere else. So I got my... my I ain't gonna say his name. One of my guys on the phone. I'm like, hey, Joe, I need to. Ooh. I run down the situation. He's like, all right, well, damn, let me check something. I'll call you right back. So, at the minute, I couldn't get nobody right right away. They like, fuck it, y'all got to go to the station. I'm like, all right, well, fuck it, let's go. They got me in the car, got my wife in another car. The motherfucker, uh, taking me to the station. And before we get there, motherfucker, my phone rang. Because he's like, I'm going to leave this phone on, man, uh, just in case motherfucker come through. Sure enough, motherfucker phone call come through. Yeah, hey, I got that move. What you want me to do? I'm like, man, uh, put it in the garbage can. Ooh, dude had gave me some instruction where he, where he want to pick it up at, right? Cool, no problem. The motherfucker went, got the strap, still took me halfway down there, pulled over. And uh, let my wife out. They gave me my motherfucking car back, my money, and all that shit, and left. God damn it, uh, with that uh, pistol, right? But let me tell you how dirty these motherfuckers were. Although they made that deal to let me go for the strap, right? Now I'm talking to the niggas I was fucking with, who D line we was working with, right? And I said, hey, bruh. The motherfucking uh, line is hot. We need to change the numbers or do this, do this, and that. We need to change up some shit, you know, because they got me and my girl last night, the other night. And we had to give them a strap to get out. This line going to be a little hot. We should change something. Oh, man, no, nah, it's straight. We straight. Woo. They double back, y'all. Pop that motherfucking line again. They was looking for me. I wasn't there. They grabbed the next worker, locked him up. He mad than a motherfucker because he said the boss didn't listen, didn't change nothing. And he like, and Shrimp said this shit. And they got him. Now he locked up. I'm like, yeah, well, that's what the motherfuckers get for not listening. People be want to do what they want to do and act like, oh man, fuck that. Nigga, okay, ain't nothing wrong with thinking for yourself, y'all. But if a motherfucker telling you something, especially a 100 motherfucker, I don't see if you heard it from some goofy ass nigga. You here for a nigga that's 100, you should take heed to that. So it seemed like every time you turn around, when a nigga get popped, this is all they want. Guns, guns. Every time one of my workers will go to jail, give us a gun, we let him go. Cool, I do.
do it with one guy did it with another guy. Got to the point, the police done picked up niggas. Every time a nigga go to jail, he telling the police he worked for me. Oh, I can call Shep get a gun. To the point I'm like, you know, me and some of the other guys was talking. They like, man, fuck that shit, Shep. We gonna stop getting these niggas gun and get them out. We might as well bond them out. We might as well bond them out. I'm like, yeah, we could do that too, but shit. We depend on what they got caught with or what kind of case it is. The cases weren't that major, right? So we shut shit down, y'all. I ain't finna give him no more strap. My boy come over one time, right? His name Mooney Mac. He knocks on my window. Now this nigga got an ounce of cocaine, uh, 38, and uh, some rocks or something. You know, the powder, and he got some rocks and his little pistol. He knocking on my window. I look out the window. I right, go to the door, bro. Police on the side. They watching my house. I told you they always watch my house. They watching the house. They think he a customer. So they like, okay, when shrimp comes to the door, we go grab dude and suzu. And this is after the time I had told the police too one time, y'all, I'm so bold. Stop kicking my motherfucking door down. Y'all running this motherfucker too much. Y'all can knock on this motherfucker. Stop kicking my fucking door down. They honored it though. You dig? They were not. You better not run, ship. Open the door. Man, bullshit. I ain't gonna run, but I'm finna walk. I'm gonna walk, motherfucker. I ain't running. I'm walking. <laughs> so look, man. They gets my guy. I come to the door. They got him handcuffed. I come out. Oh, man. Boom. I go back. I'm not getting in that shit. Hell no. I'm mad. Oh, hell no, man. That's, that ain't right. Y'all not. I ain't even at the door. And y'all finna, you know. So they like sitting there for a few minutes. They waited a few minutes before they knocked on the door. Because they thought maybe he'll come back, right? Maybe Shep will come back. No, I ain't coming back, y'all. I ain't, right? They sat out there for a minute. Then they knock on the door. Do, 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 do. I call. I'm like, what's up, man? He like, come in. Let me talk to you. I'm like, what's up? He like, man, your guy had this is it. And I don't give a fuck what he had. It's out there. I ain't got nothing to do with me. They like, you don't want to get your boy? No. I don't want to get him. No, I don't want to get him. He like, man, you can. And he's standing there, ain't saying nothing. He could have said, HG, hey, let me holler at him. He could have told the police, let me holler at him. And like, Shrimp, I'm dirty, and I got this case down here. I need you to get me. But I didn't know, y'all, the man had a murder out of town. Now, I had heard of this. He had told me he bodied the motherfucker, but you know niggas talk. He's one of them niggas that'll tell a little lie at night then. So I'm like, this nigga Captain, he ain't pop no motherfucker. He ain't pop no motherfucker in the city. I know he ain't pop no motherfucker out of state. That's my little joke, right? Come to find out he did whack a motherfucker out there. My cousin lived in Denver, which is where he had caught the case at. And uh, I asked her, was it a lot of shooting down there? She said, no. She said, it was one shooting at a party. We had a guy got killed. I said, yeah, what happened? She like, oh, no, somebody got killed. They, I said, they know who did it. She said, they say some guy named Moon did it. I'm like, what? That's my partner. That's his name. He the same nigga in handcuffs at the door. But I don't know nothing about this case yet, y'all. So I'm like, I'm telling them I can't give them no gun for this motherfucker. You know what the police did? They got mad. He said, you know what? That's all right, you motherfucker. Next time we catch one of your workers and somebody, we're going to take them to jail. I said, okay, and I supposed to be mad because you going to do your job? Are you fucking kidding me? I supposed to be mad because you going to do your job. If you catch him dirty, take his ass to jail. Nigga, y'all only got every strap you going to get out of me. I ain't got now another to give you, bro. Now another to give you. They had the nerve to get mad. Then he goes, and he got that murder. He had to go down there. He didn't even really get no time for it. Little shit, because the nigga was back in two or three years, if you ask me. However long, he didn't stay. You feel me? So they always was running in this bitch, y'all. You hear me? They come in here one time. I'm on house arrest. I tell y'all, I stayed on house arrest. I'm on house arrest with my little girl. Be sitting there kicking. I'm finna bag up a move. Some say, don't bag up. Wait till she leave. Yeah, I wait till she leave, show her my undivided attention, and then, because she go leave in a little while. I didn't bag up, right? Show sure enough, some motherfucker got shot over here. They throw my name out there. Shrimp, that's dead, woo-woo-woo. I'm on house arrest, y'all. I ain't been nowhere. 
police come to this motherfucker. Do, 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 do. You know, hey, we need a shrimp at the door. I come to the door. They, hey, cuff me up. Hey. And I'm like, what I do, man? Come on, walk me out. Walk me out to the to the street, right? So the police come on the other side of the street. And I'm like, what I do? He's like, you'll see in a minute. So they got me, y'all. I only could go like a hundred feet, y'all. I swear to God, if I ain't 99 motherfucker feet, you hear me? All I need to be is one more feet, and you know, I have had an unauthorized movement. These motherfuckers done took me, damn, they too far, and sent me in the police car. They never closed the door, they got the door open, but I'm sitting there. Then here comes some smart ass lady police. She's like, where you at? Where you at? She, yeah, that's him. Look at him, because his jeans all ripped up. Y'all remember the damaged jeans back in the day? The used jeans, that was the shit. But they, you know, they was stonewashed with the little tears and then. And I'm like, bitch, I bought these pants like this. What is you talking about? I didn't call them a bitch, y'all. But I'm like, I bought these pants like this. Fuck is you talking about? You know, this motherfucker outfit ain't tore up. I'm offended more about the outfit than anything, y'all. Bitch, you ain't gonna disrespect my outfit, ho. Fuck is you talking about, right? <laughs> Here come one of the niggas that they say he synced it. He come around and he like, no, man, that ain't him. That's shrimp. That's shrimp. Now he had the funny talk. That's the one. He, no, he like, that's wimp, man. He ain't wimp, man. That ain't wimp. Wimp didn't do that. I always used to tell him, man, you, you trying to sneak and call me a wimp? I'm going to hit you in your shit. No, wimp. I mean, shrimp. You, you know I can't say your name, shrimp. I always say, that's why I say wimp, man. I can't say wimp. Yeah, all right. That motherfucker got it right that day. No, that's shrimp. That's shrimp. Well, man, he ain't doing the one did. It was another guy. So, they let me go, right? Do you know what the police told me? He said, man, whoever that was, he said, I'd get down on their ass. He said, i handle that. I'm like, yeah. He said, yeah, i handle that. He said, "You look how close you is to going to jail. He telling me to get down on the motherfucker, y'all. Ain't that a bitch? Police. But who said they ain't crooked? This is what they do, right? So, when I was out on bond one time, y'all, I had a $50,000 bond. They know I'm on bond, right? So, uh, they come to the house one day, said some shit had happened over here, motherfucker got shot at. My name comes up again. Naturally, because I was doing a lot of that shit, and the shit I wasn't doing, my boy and them was doing it, but, you know, hey. So, even the shit I didn't do, they blamed it on me. So, it used to be some time when it would be extra shit they blamed on me. The motherfucker come to the house, y'all, said they want to search my room. I'm like, no, nah, you can't search my room. They like, look, Shrimp, you out on $50,000 a month. All we got to do is say what they told us, you shot at them. I can take you into custody, that'll revoke your bond, and woo, he, he telling me all the dirty games he can play. So I'm listening because he right, y'all. He right. And he like, man, I just want to search your room. Whatever I find, it's nothing. Ain't nobody going to go to jail or nothing, man. Whatever I find, it's in there. It's, hey, you know, you could even sign this paper, say you consent for me to search this room. And anything that's found, found you are, uh, you turning in and you're not going to go to jail for. I'm like, no, you can search the room, but I'm not signing. Not shit. You feel me? I ain't signing shit. He like, all right. The motherfucker come in my room. Now, I know one of my spots was a secret compartment. They would not find it. I knew that. So, I'm thinking in my head, okay, I got that strap up. It's put up real good, right? I'm like, it's put up real good. So, I'm like, I, I, I get back with that. You know, they went and they searched and studied. So, I'm like, okay, when they went in my room, they couldn't find it. They realized I had a bathroom in my room, right? You go in the bathroom, it was a trap door. You could go down to the basement. And that motherfucker like, hey, can we go down here? I'm like, no, no. That ain't part of the deal. You said one room. This is the room. No. He like, what, Trump? This is what I'm like, no. He like, Trump, this is a part of your room. You got access. Bullshit, man. I said, you breaking the rules now. Fuck that. No, I snapped. He like, come on, man. Just, well, this is part of the room. <sighs> Fuck. So he comes down there, y'all. Now, he na, uh convinced the police that's with him to stay outside. It's just him and another guy. I told him when they had to do that, all y'all can't come in here. Just one of y'all, but he said he needed a partner, so it's only two of them. 
So they goes down in the basement and they looking. I'm standing over in the cut behind them, y'all. It's a bookcase. Right? Long bookcase. Got that motherfucker. It's a 30-30 on that bitch, y'all. Slam right there. If I was a damn fool or wanted to get them, I could have picked it up and got, got down on their ass, y'all. But what about the police outside? But I wasn't thinking like that. I was just saying, I better let these motherfuckers know because they might get offended when they turn around and realize how much of a drop I had on their ass. You feel me? So I'm like, because they finna find it soon as they turn around. It, it makes no difference. They finna find it because it wasn't here or nothing. It just sitting on the motherfucking bookcase. So I'm like, hey, man. They like, yeah, I'm like, well, here go one, man. You know, now I checked it out. I try to play dumb. And dude walk around there. He grabbed me. Holy shit. God damn it. Woo. Wait. He like, what is this? I said, that's a 12. 12 games. This ain't no goddamn 12 games. Are you kidding me? Listen, y'all. That hunk is snapped. This is not a goddamn 12 gauge. Are you kidding me? This is a assault rifle. And I'm like, hey, man. Why do you point that motherfucker? God damn it. And he like. Man, he tweaking, y'all. He tweaking this motherfucker shot seven six twos way before the motherfucking choppers and all that shit was out. That motherfucker we had shot that bitch, and it had a little magazine in it. Now no bitch, this one of them sniper rifle. You, choo, choo, boom, choo, choo, boom. had a little clip, maybe six in the clip, and you can get a longer clip. We had a longer one too, but that's the one that was in it, right? Because I used to like to conceal my shit, right? So they finds that. And they find, this is what they found, y'all. A big bag of bullets, y'all. You hear me? A big bag of bullets. I'm talking about 38s, 9mm, 12 gauge, the 7.62s, the 22, 25. All the weapons that we did have, we had bullets for them. And we had them in this one big bag because I used to be like, when I took shit, I wanted to be together. That's why they was in that big bag. And plus, it was in the basement here, too. They found that motherfucker. They like, woo, okay. Damn, okay. So, they certainly got that. They got the bag of bullets and that, uh, 30-30. So, he like, okay, let's go. We can walk out, right? So, I'm like, hey, y'all can go this way. You can go back through the basement. We don't have to go up to my room. Let's go out through the basement, right? So, they like, all right, we can go out this way. I'm like, yeah. So, they walking out. And that motherfucker hunky, he got to the door and he just stopped, y'all. And he looked around the door and said, and he's, I bet he said, now if I was a drug dealer, where would I hide a gun? You know, and he really thinking this in his head, y'all. And he looked down and he just stuck his hand down. Now I had that pink shit on the wall and he just stuck his hand down there and come up with nine millimeter like that. He looked back. He like shrimp, you got to my own heart. I'm like, damn, I, well, you, you can have that one. You know, you found that one. I'm saying, I said, you, you can have that one. So when he go outside, the rest of them out there like, what we got? He like, we got a nine millimeter. They got the bag of bullets and they got the 30-30 thing. And the other police like, yeah, we gonna get some more units in. We gonna search the whole house. He said, no, we finna go. He said, are you kidding me, Sarge? Look at this bag. He said, all these weapons are in this house. He said, no, we got to search the whole building, Sarge. He said, no, we finna go. He said, come on, Sarge, how you say? He said, look, your word might not mean shit to you, but it mean a lot to me. He said, we said we was going to search one room. We end up searching two. This is it. We finna go. What? I'm, I'm glad the little guy who was talking, who had the bullets, didn't have no juice. Because he said, we finna go get the rest of the units and search the whole building. No, you're not, bruh. You're not finna search this motherfucker. <clears throat> no, the fuck you're not. Y'all finna get the fuck out of here. But guess what they did do? Had a Cadillac in the yard. Y'all remember how we used to have the sounds in that bitch? So, nigga, we're breaking your trunk. What we start doing is... uh. Taking the uh, key off so you can't get in that bitch, right? And we had the inside. You can pop it from the inside, pink or the, the alarm. This particular car, they open up. They looking in it. They want to get in the trunk. Ain't no battery in it, though. So he couldn't pop the trunk. 
They sweared up and down. Something was in it. I'm like, no, man, ain't nothing in this car, man. They trying to tear my seats up to get to the trunk. I'm like, look, man, ain't nothing in the fucking car, man. You know, y'all don't have to be thirsty today. They, they weren't trying to hear y'all. They bent the seats back so much till they realized you couldn't get in it through that seat like that anyway. So they wants to pop the trunk. I'm like, we get this motherfucker jump. You can pop the trunk. Do you know these bitches... Wanted me to jump start. I had to. I won't say wanted. I had to jump start the motherfucking car. And uh, pop the trunk. And they looked in that motherfucker. Wasn't nothing in there. Wasn't nothing in there. Nothing they could do. They had to get the fuck on. You know. And I'm talking about. They did that shit a lot y'all. To the point where we didn't ask about no gun or nothing. That was their thing. Hey give me a gun. I let them go. Give me a gun. I let them go. But when they let the wrong motherfucker go that time, so I'm like, oh, that's really it. No. Nigga, I don't even know, said he working for me. You know, they used to do that a lot. One nigga told his mama he was working for me. The other nigga went to jail and called his mama. She called me. I'm like, I don't know who your fucking son is. And she like, but he said you the general that you will get him out if he could get in touch with you. And I'm like, oh, man, I don't know the guy. Come find out. He was one of my guys, look partner. He was cool, but uh, Mote, yeah, G, he did go to jail for one of our demos. I said, what the fuck he doing with it? He said, man, we was out there, and uh, we told him to hold it for a minute. And them people rolled up, and he just took off walking fast. And they like, hey, man, hey, you, he, hey, you, hey, man, bring your ass down. He jumped in the car, and grabbed his ass, y'all, and grabbed his ass, and... Locked him up. He had the strap on him. And I've been doing this shit so long, y'all. Listen, I used to have another little guy. One of the little guys, man, he rest in peace. He got killed, right? He uh stayed on, on the same block I stay on. Put it like that. He's, so I used to pay him not to come on the block. He was a stone, but he was a young one. Hadn't even got out here yet. And he just was hanging with the guys. And I'm like, man, you ain't getting nothing by hanging on me, man. You ain't selling nothing to rule. Man, you don't have to go over there. I'll pay you to stay off the block. I'm paying all the other guys to work. I'm paying him not to come on the block. He getting new clothes and all that shit, though, y'all. He want to wear them. He want to go somewhere. You feel me? So I understand it, but I was telling him to stay off the block for a fucking reason. The man put on one of his fresh outfits, y'all, and come through the block, come through the gangway. They said he went on the block 10 or 15 minutes. Here comes some niggas creeping up, just blowing. Everybody else hit the ground, whatever. What he do, he ain't duck or nothing. Boom. That motherfucker fell out. You hear me? I happen to be coming around the corner. I'm parking and I'm like, everybody out, right? everybody out. Right? No, G. I'm like, what's up? Mow down. I'm like, who? They tell me I'm running that little bitch down. I'm running down there like, what the fuck? And I see him, he laying there. I'm like, oh my God. You know, I'm like, Mo, you high, right? you high. Right? And I'm trying to hold his chest wherever he shot up. You know, I'm trying to hold it. I'm like, man, you gonna be all right. Just hold still, hold still. You know what the man said to me, y'all? And I swear to God. This shit hurt me so bad, the man said, shrimp. I said, yeah. He said, I'm finna die. And I swear to God, I looked that boy in his eye, lied. I'm like, nah, man, you ain't finna die. And he kind of smirked like, I know you lying. I swear, I don't know what made me think of that, but I'm telling you, the way he looked at me, it's like, you lying, G. I know you lying. You know, you just tell me what I want to hear. But I was hoping it was like that. I'm like, man, no, nah, you ain't going to die. And I swear to God, that boy took his last breath talking to me. And I'm holding him. I'm like, oh, God. I just held him for a minute. And I got up. You know what the fucking police tell me? <laughs> Shrimp, we don't want no retaliation for that. I said, boy, shit. Fuck what you talking about. I said, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. It's going to be some retaliation from, from this. And I don't give a fuck if you know it or not. And he looked at me like, the other partner, I could tell his partner like, hit him like, no, don't, don't. You know what I mean? Like, nah, it's not the time. Don't talk to these motherfuckers. And you know they're going to retaliate. You already know it. 
you know. So that's why I be saying y'all when I tell y'all motherfuckers be dying when a nigga get hit, it don't be no surprise. Cause most time niggas be bracing for it, or he might see a cop coming up, be thinking, oh, I hope this ain't none of them niggas. He tensing up. When you hit the shots, you I knew it. First thing you say, I knew it. What did it be? I knew it. Best thing you could do is get out the goddamn way. You know what I mean? I wish it was Instagram and all this extra shit out like now where I can listen to niggas. If I didn't have no OGs and listen to a nigga give me the game and try to tell me what it is. Because out here in the streets, you only go end up in one or two places. They said dead or in jail. And even if a nigga figure out to get it rich, you got to make me dirty money or whatever, you might get rich for a little while. And then the feds come and take all you got illegally. They're going to take everything. That's why I be so disappointed in some of these rappers. Y'all are making money that some of us would never see in our lifetime. And all y'all might need to do is keep your hands clean. Ain't no way y'all should be catching cases. And I ain't saying shit don't need to be done. But you got crash dummies and shit for that. Crash they ass out. Let them do that. When you go somewhere, if you want to get your drugs or whatever you need, you have one Pacific guy. Go do all that, and y'all keep your hands clean. Let him go do that. He's a nobody. Don't nobody need to know him. He don't need to get to be friends with nobody. That his job is to go to jail or go get whatever you need. Like the white folks, I heard him say, I'm not mad. He was talking about Daryl Strawberry. He kept getting caught smoking and shit. The lady said, I'm not uh, mad he got caught. She said, but you don't do that. You don't go get your own shit. You send an assistant to do that. You send an assistant to do it, y'all. You feel me? An assistant. What the fuck you going copying your own drugs for? Or whatever you use. Weed, whatever. I say that all the time. The niggas smoke weed, y'all halfway home. Y'all halfway home. Y'all weed and shit is legal. Only thing y'all got illegal and they writing y'all good prescriptions for that is that lean. I know if some of y'all got hookups on the lean when niggas writing bogus ass prescription. You get the doctor, hey doc, let me get that pad. I get three hundred thousand for that pad. What what pad? <laughs> he like, what pad? You like this one. What pad? The one that came up missing the stolen pad? Oh, you gonna give me money for the stolen pad? Cool. Cool. Hit that like button, man. Hit that cash up, y'all. I'm going to go live in a little bit, y'all. been out all night. I ain't went to sleep yet, y'all. See, I got the same shit on. I still fly. I've I been out all night. I ain't going to tell y'all what I was doing, man. But I, damn it, I think I still could dance, y'all. Don't, 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 which one? One of them. One of them broke, god damn it. It's just getting bad, man. I'm getting old, man. I done broke two of my legs. I done even broke the third leg, god damn it, god damn it. I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. I done broke the third leg, y'all. I am so sorry, man. It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody's favorite baby daddy voice in the street. I'm going to plant you now, dig you later, y'all. And guess what? I'm finna. Go live in a few minutes. Maybe I'll change clothes and then I'll come back to y'all. You hear me? I'm out.